in today's video I want to show you or we all gonna to learn together how these batteries are configured in three parallel four series modules so let's go ahead before doing that I got all my tools I think they're all necessary for the operation I get my tester I get different kind of tools here or whatever you call them to fit different uh, criteria or different uh, uh, projects here so we just getting ready then here I have my little guy here which has all kind of different kind of styles out there in the market the, the latest um, uh, security locks you know anything you can think of they're in here zoom it close you see so guys this is what I have for you guys today and we're gonna see how these batteries are configured I feel you can see at the bottom part of the battery right here so if you count these batteries you can see exactly so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I'm I'm thinking they have them like they said three parallel four series I think it's a one you consider it's a three six nine twelve so it's four of them there on threes I think that's how they did and parallel them in fours okay in four series modules and these batteries are 75 amp power rated at 20 uh, 72 amp tested which each battery here individual battery here is a 3.6 volt nominal which um a 4.1 volt maximum all right so this battery uh, the minimum of this is uh, 3.0, which is a 3 volt. And uh, the total ba battery max is 16.4 uh, max. So if you look at it, the nominal voltage will be 14.4, which we tested yesterday. You guys saw that 14.41 which is a nominal voltage it's not all the way maxed at 16.1 and the minimum voltage is 12 volt these batteries can um, peak at 600 amp hours and 350 amps continuous so I just want to show you how we're gonna go about this process but we got to select the right tool here for the right operation well as I'm looking here um, I think we're gonna go with the uh, talk T O R C H something like that and 120 that tool right there we're gonna be utilizing for this operation today as we're gonna be trying to open up these covers I have these ones flip on the other side they all have these orange colors so I flip them over so you can see the bottom of the batteries the way they're configured so let's go into it and see the inner parts of this battery and stay tuned for that subscribe like and share to this video as we're gonna be doing some series before we keep on doing the configuration here more batteries on the way stay tuned love you guys as I perform the um, grab the tool to perform the task right here you will see exactly um, the part of the tool I'm using here is TORX120. So, folks, I think it's a perfect tool right there. So, it fits. So, let's get these things away from the entire place and clear it up so we can start. So, since we already found the tool right here, let's go back. And got it to uh, stuff here. I'm going to adjust it really low. I don't want to destroy any of these batteries for some reason. So let's go about it. 
and get this you see that we just took one of the boys out so uh, we're gonna do the same thing to the other one We just want to find out how all these batteries are configured in this manner so you guys can see yourself. Stay tuned. As I'm about to pop this cover and I'll show you guys. There we go. Look at this. So I'll bring you close so you can see how everything is configured and you guys, the tech guru out there will see exactly instead of me explaining and you can able to uh, reconsider if you want to go with these batteries and what are the uh, the gain what are the losses or whatever you need for you to configure a battery like this so here it seems to be um, the BMS uh, plug-in right here the battery management system that's uh, just a short form of that and you can see the terminals tied into um, the bottom cell right here and you can see from the top right here and the yellow another one here and right there so I think these are the four point that um, the batteries are um, in three in series and four in parallel so I think these are there's a one string, one string, one one string here is another one here. So, folks, this is what um, we're dealing with here right now. Here, right at the JW Solar USA. Um, I hope this video can make sense for a lot of you guys. Here you can see the positive terminal right here. And uh, let me pop this and see. Yep, the positive wire is right here. So... Don't make a mistake by flipping the cover to the other side. I don't think it's gonna work anyway because you see all the holes are perpendicular to the way the cover is designed so you can be able to miss a positive and a negative. So guys, um, this is the looks. And if you're curious how these batteries are formed, how these batteries are set up, and this is how they set up. And you guys tell me what you think. From here, we're going to be doing some other tests or a demonstration how these batteries are all going to be wired into um, a series series for, for 48 volt or a 24 volt application. So if you are not sure how these batteries work, I'll encourage you to uh, stay tuned to um, all the series videos I'm gonna be making here. I'm doing all these uh, series videos in the sense so that nobody will be left out. And we don't want nobody left out. On JW Solar USA, nobody's gonna be left out. So we wanna make sure that everybody trying to understand this and everybody gonna see the application, how everything works from start to finish. Just like the Nissan Leaf, okay? well. I want to thank you guys for being part of this uh, video and please stay tuned for more series coming on, the, on your way. I'm just trying to show you how the configuration of the batteries and subscribe and share.